Hello everyone. Welcome to session 48 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I am going to explain about a software testing terminology that is risk. So what exactly is this risk? Let me explain. So what is risk? Let me explain what is risk. Risk is a potential problem guys. Okay. Risk is a potential problem that we may face in the future. We may or may not face, right? Risk is a potential problem that we may or may not face in the future. So before I explain what is the risk in the software testing context, let me give you a real time example guys, real world example. Okay. So let's say you are investing your money in stock market. You are investing money in stock market. What is the risk? Here, can you say what is the risk? So in the future, there may be a situation where whatever the stocks you have invested your money, right? Those stocks may go down like anything, right? The stock price may come down like anything. What, what is the risk there is? What is the risk here? Risk is nothing but in this case, the risk is losing your money. Losing the money that you have invested in the stock market is a risk. This is a risk case. Okay, you have to take this risk in order to invest the money in the stock market. Fine. Similarly, Software testing also has this term known as risk. So in, in case of software testing, what exactly is risk? So the risk here is, okay, depending on two factors, okay? The risk in software testing is depending on two factors. That is, when you release a poor quality software, okay, when you release a poor quality software into the market or you release a buggy software into the market, then you may have to face the risk, okay? In the coming future, you may have to face a potential future problem, okay? A potential future problem you may have to face. That is nothing but the risk. So if you release this kind of poor quality or buggy software into the market, so the risk may be there are different type of risk that you will have to face. One is a company which is releasing this poor quality or buggy software into the market. What is the risk for that company, guys? Loss of money, okay? So because of this poor quality software or buggy software released into the market, the company which is releasing that software may have to lose the money. Okay. So if a software is not properly tested and released into the market, what's, what's the risk guys? Loss of money. The some of the functionalities may not work and uh, users may not. Okay. Let's say if it's an e-commerce application, let's say there's an e-commerce application and uh, today is like Black Friday where a lot of sales will happen. Okay. Where a lot of sales will happen due to some bug in the software that is released into the market what happened is so a lot of products okay people uh, like users or end users are unable to place orders for a lot of products that are displayed on this e-commerce application on this e-commerce application what are the different products are there that are kept for selling in the market right those are not getting sold because there is a bug in the software so because of which end users were not able to proceed further so because of this what will happen guys end result is loss of money Okay, and if a buggy software or poor quality software is released into the market, customers or end users will not be happy. Okay, will not be happy, right? Uh, they will share the feedback to everyone, like don't purchase this product or something. So because of that, your market share will go down and uh, no one will be coming forward to purchase your buggy or poor quality software, right? That is loss of money. Second thing is loss of reputation, guys. Okay, loss of reputation. If you release a poor quality software or buggy software into the market without proper testing, what will happen is second risk. Second risk is loss of reputation. Your company will lose the name guys. Okay. Tomorrow, if you come, if you try to release a very good quality product, also people will not be ready to purchase it. Okay. So because earlier they have the bad experiences, people had the bad experience earlier. If the same companies try to release a very good quality software in the future also because of that bad reputation, people may not come forward to purchase your software because they have a bad experience with you earlier. That is loss of reputation. Similarly, what are the other risks? Okay, what are the other risks we get? So the second other risk is like uh, someone may file a case, guys. Someone may file a case. Let's say, let's uh, not stick this to software, guys. Let's say, uh, you mean, uh, there is something like uh, some cream, guys, okay? Some face cream. Let's say company is selling some face cream, let's say. Okay, the company is selling some face cream. Now a lot of customers have purchased it and they have used. 
and out of that uh, good number of customers they got some rash case on their face they got some rash because of using this face cream some allergy happened and uh, they have they got some skin problems so what they do guys not all customers will raise a case but few customers who are very serious about this uh, thing done by this face cream to their face right what they do is they will file a case in the court okay so the company who has released this particular buggy thing into the market has to fight against this case they have to spend a lot of money okay and uh, they they have to like pay a lot of money to someone who has filed the case also sometimes so this is what happens guys these are the different risks whenever you release something into the market you have to just cross check what is the risk of releasing this at this kind of state of this product fine what is the risk we have to see then uh, the next risk is life risk guys okay life risk life risk so if a buggy software is there in some military military applications or it is there in some like a uh, flight systems or whatever it is okay some emergency situations if you are using that software let's say then if that particular software is kind of poor quality or buggy software right it will result in loss of life guys okay so so let's say let let me give an example let's say you are tra traveling by plane and this uh, plane is uh, actually using one software okay it's following is blindly following a software so this software has uh, some bug okay some bug or it is a poor quality software what happens guys so it will put all these people who are traveling in this plane life at risk guys okay all the people who are traveling in this plane their life are at risk okay when this particular bug occurs okay and the situation occurs then what happens guys all these people may die that is a life risk okay then next one is health risk health risk okay what is the health risk the health risk here is this is a health risk only right the face cream example whatever i have given you is an health risk if some customers have got some rash okay if this particular face cream is not properly tested and released into the market what will happen guys so if customers may get rash and uh, you know right they may file a case okay so uh, because here health risk is there one side is like customers have lose their health because of your face cream or whatever it is another example let's say is like a, a company is selling some televisions okay some smart tvs are being uh, sold by a company one reputed company is selling that but uh, so a lot of people have by billing believing their particular reputation and brand name right they have purchased it uh, and uh, what happened is uh, within some 10 days or 15 days of watching this televisions let's say all people okay who are watching the television got some eyesight let's say eyesight because of some poor quality of something used in this particular television they got some eyesight okay high sight so here health risk is there high sight losing their high sight and all those stuff is a health risk so this is what is known as risk case okay hope you understood what is risk because of the poor quality of the software or buggy software released into the market there are several types of risks that may happen in the future okay potential future problem that is risk may happen because of this poor quality or buggy software one is loss of money loss of reputation these are the different risks guys okay whenever you release a software you have to think what is the risk what is the risk of releasing the software at this current level loss of money does it uh, lead us to loss of money loss of reputation uh, does it uh, uh, someone may file a case or someone life is at risk or uh, someone's health is at risk we have to ask ourselves guys okay while testing a while releasing a software that we are testing we have to ask this question so hope guys you understood what exactly is this term software testing term that is risk is known as right so that's it guys thank you bye